Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brains. In this video, we are going to show how we have developed the online shopping cart project from scratch. So this is part one of online shopping cart project. So for this project development, we have used uh, Visual Studio 2010 and SQL Server 2008. So first to create this click on file new project. Inside this new project dialog box, select web and select ASP.NET empty web application. You can also select lower versions of .NET framework like 3.5. I have selected .NET framework 4. We have named this project as shopping heart and you can change the location of your project or you can leave it as it is. Then click on OK. When you click on OK, uh, Shopping Heart project will be added to your Solution Explorer. This project will be completely empty and it will only have the web config file. So let's discuss the connection string which we are going to add in this config file. So in this config file, we have two sections. One is the app setting section, another one is the connection string section. The connection string section is basically used to establish a connection with between the website and the SQL server. So we have named added a connection. We have named this connection as my C O double M my connection and uh, we have added the connection string and we have also provided the provider name. The provider name is system dot data dot SQL client. The connection string the first part is data source, second part is initial catalog and third part part is the integrated security. The data source we have added as KIM-PC. This is nothing but the server name which with which we are going to log in inside our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. The another part is the shopping cart DB. This is the database name and integrated security we have kept as true because we are not providing any username and password we are allowing the uh, web application to connect using the windows authentication the second part is the app setting section in this section we have added two keys the first key is the admin login id and the second key is the admin password we have added this key to authenticate the admin part the admin of this web application. So from this configuration file, this web config file, we are going to read this connection string and we are going to read this keys in our web application. So this was the part one. In next part, we'll be going to discuss about how we have created the login page and its coding. Thanks for watching.